Good morning, everybody. MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports betting handicapping video. The title of this video is what is the most important stat to focus on when handicapping college basketball? We're going to get to that in just a second. But before we do, don't forget if this video provides you a lot of value, like it and also subscribe to the channel. If you're looking to learn about the sports handicapping business, how to create your own models, uh, what to focus on, which is the premise of this video, there is a ton of content on my channel. Um, I have videos, a series on how to create your own sports betting stat model, uh, also how to handicap soccer, NFL, etc. So a ton of content on the page. So not just this video, but if you do a little bit of research, you can find and learn a lot about sports betting. If you want to follow me on social media, it's MG Covers, Covers spelled with a Z. That's on Instagram and Twitter. Give a ton of content out on my storyline on Instagram. So just by following me on Instagram, you'll get a lot of value. So without any further ado, what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to show you my stat model results from yesterday for college basketball and see how well we did. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the most important stat to focus on when handicapping college basketball. When I reveal this to you, you will not believe me. The most important stat to focus on when handicapping college basketball is defense. Okay, My stat model that I use to wager on uh, college basketball and what I give out to my clients uses zero offensive stats. I'm going to repeat that. My stat model uses zero offensive stats. Now, most of you, this doesn't sound right when you hear it. And let me explain something. So if defense is the most important stat to focus on, what does the general public generally focus on when handicapping college basketball? They focus on these teams that can score a really good offensive team, right? So what? So that's actual, if that's incorrect, what do you think is going to happen to the sportsbook line? So when a good offensive team plays a good v- defensive team, who is going to be favored? It's going to be that good offensive team. The sportsbooks know this, that the public will focus on offensive stats. So therefore, that offensive line will be shaded more on the offensive side, or I like to say inflated. So you can find a good value going in the other direction. So again, my stat model just focuses on defense. So if you're looking to build a college basketball model, you have to incorporate defense. If you just use an offensive stat, it's probably not going to be effective or probably not going to yield a profit long term. So let's take a look at yesterday's uh, stat model. We're going to look at the, uh, we didn't have a lot of games to, uh, we only had like, I think like 12 games that fit my criteria. Right now, I'm trying to focus on uh, the model works best if teams have played at least five five games. In this case, since it's early in the season, I'm just using three, but it's still very effective. First game, Northern Florida, East Carolina. East Carolina was huge favorites here, minus 14 and a half. My line was six, so that means there was a difference of eight and a half. So that favored uh, Florida. Now, what I like to see when I wager on a a game in college basketball, I like to see at least a three to four point differential. A lot of times, if you're playing a favorite, it will be closer to three. But for the most part, I generally like to stay in that three to four point range. So if you have a three to four point differential, that's generally enough to consider that a play. And then you'd still want to handicap that game situationally. Uh, if you're playing a road team, can that team win on the road? If there's any injuries, line movement, public, non public money, et cetera. So in this particular game, Northern Florida, I only lost by six, so they did cover. And it's interesting that the line actually fell on my exact number. Uh, so by the so the way I teach it, that game uh, actually won via my stat model. Next game, a big rivalry game, North Dakota versus South Dakota. We had my stat model had this one as at even. The actual line was South Dakota minus three and a half, so that meant North Dakota was plus three and a half. So in that case, the value was with North Dakota. We were getting a three and a half point differential in favor of North Dakota and North Dakota won that game outright 75 to 71. Next game, Mercer, Virginia, uh, VMI was canceled. And this was a huge upset that we ended up winning. Didn't play this personally, but the stat model won it. Uh, North Carolina, Greensboro, Coppin State. Uh, They were 21 point dogs. 
Um, our stat model had them as the favorite, minus two and a half. Huge, huge, huge win for the stat model there. Uh, Coppin State won that one 85 to 80. Again, going back to what I told you guys before is that, you know, these good defensive teams are very undervalued. And early in the season in basketball, this is a very difficult sport for sports books to lay really good lines. You can find a ton of value early on. As the season progresses, a lot of these lines will get tighter. Uh, we won't have generally the results you're seeing uh, right now on the stat model just because there's more data available to the sports books and those lines become sharper. But early on, uh, you can find a ton of value. So that was a huge win. Uh, we had them as a favorite. They did win and cover and also covered as a 21 point dog. Next one, Portland, Oregon State. We had uh, Portland plus five and a half. The actual line was Portland plus 16. Uh, it was around 17, 18 at one point. Uh, Portland actually won this one. I think it was an overtime. Yep, 87 to 86. So the way that I teach, the line was 16. Our line was five. So that gave us an 11-point differential in favor of Portland. And Portland covered that one as well. All right, moving along. Let me scroll this up here. Whoops. To these next three here. Okay, Texas Rio Grande was minus two playing Texas A&M Community College. Is that what CC stands for, Community College? Um, 68 to 64 was the final. So the line was exactly what my line was, minus two. So there's no value in that particular game. So that would have been a no play. And then moving on to the game, we actually played this game, North Dakota State, South Dakota State. We had North Dakota State as the favorite, minus three and a half. The line was, it looks like it closed at plus eight. Uh, we had, when I actually played them, they were plus nine. So that gave us a 12 and a half point differential in favor of North Dakota State. Um, and they actually covered really close game, 75-77. That was a game where I handicapped that one situationally. Uh, a couple things the public missed on that is that that was played at a neutral site, and that was a huge rivalry game. And I think the last five games have been decided by six points or less. So in a rivalry game, sometimes you can throw out uh, the actual numbers and then, I mean, actual sportsbook line, which was, you know, plus nine. And then, of course, our model said minus three, three and a half. And then finally, the big game. Uh, this was really cool to see this. Uh, had a lot of clients on this game. San Diego State against Arizona State. Both ranked teams. Arizona, uh, San Diego State we had as the favorite, uh, minus eight and a half. Uh, so that meant Arizona State was plus eight and a half. The actual line was Arizona State minus two. They were way overvalued. Why were they overvalued? Because they have a good offensive team. However, the team they were playing, San Diego State, is one of the best defensive teams in the country. And I actually have this pulled up. Uh, yeah, right now, San Diego State's the ninth best defense in the country right now. Uh, interesting that Clemson is fourth. And you remember early in the week, they took down a Maryland team that was averaging 80 points a game. So defense is the stat to focus on when you're handicapping uh, college basketball. So hopefully that helped uh, looking at those uh, power rankings. If you want access to those power rankings, you can get that for just 29 bucks a month. There's a link in the description box uh, to sign up. You get access to all of my college basketball power rankings, which I update daily. You also get right now NFL power rankings. You get soccer power rankings. And we're going to have NBA, NHL when it starts in January. So, so hopefully that video provides you a lot of content. Uh, if you liked it, as always, like it. Subscribe to the channel. Best of luck this weekend in college basketball. Remember to focus on defense. Peace.